This is the 2017 Volvo XC90 in crystal white with the amber interior. And of course, we're not going to spend much time outside. We're actually going to go in and talk a little bit about the performance. Of course, this is the 400 horsepower hybrid model. So once we're inside here, and just in case you're wondering where we are today, we're at a local McDonald's here in Matthews, North Carolina. So I'm going to back all the way up so I can actually show you how the Volvo XC90 actually operates. So everything behind the steering wheel, the vehicle itself is exactly the same, except here you are going to have more horsepower, which is 400 horsepower versus the standard 316. One of the things that we can do, we can actually come to the drive mode selector, press down. When we press down, it's actually going to come here. Now, drive mode selector, I'm going to let it flash back one more time, and I'm going to press down once more. It actually comes up on your center screen directly in the middle, just to show you where it is in relation to the steering wheel. Once it actually comes up in the hybrid mode, we can actually choose what we would prefer. All-wheel drive, we can put, uh, of course, save mode, which is actually going to save and charge battery for later use. Pure, which is pure eco. Hybrid, power, which is more of a sportier drive. And then, of course, off-road, which is rough roads, all-wheel drive type deal. Definitely when you know that you're going maybe into the mountain area, areas or you're climbing somewhat of the side of a mountain. You're going off-road. You're going camping off the beaten path. So right now we're actually going to skip power. And I'm going to show you something that's a little unlike most cars. Not even hybrid cars, but most cars. Because we're going to go into hybrid mode. Now we can also go into pure uh, eco drive. You're going to get the same acceleration. I, that I felt and you're also going to get the same uh, type performance that you generally don't expect to get out of a vehicle once you put it in eco mode. So we're going to go ahead and take off. Now once again I'm going to shift this back to hybrid mode. We have 400 horsepower in this particular vehicle. Now crystal, crystal gear shifter going to take it and pull back twice. That's going to put me in drive. Go back to the view behind the steering wheel and as I normally do, I am going to give you a shot from the eye from the eye of a passenger that would happen to be in the vehicle. So let me get my seat back straight. And remember, I always love to show you the road, but at the same time, I always love to show you the shot from inside the vehicle. So I'm going to make my way out here. Even when I'm going slow, which is something that uh, I love about the hybrid mode, because I'm just driving around a parking lot right now, but I can punch it at any time, and I know I have the necessary power to actually take off or get on a highway. So as you can see, I'm back here on the back parking lot, but if I punch it once again, I mean, I'm taking off. Sorry about the movement of the camera there, but definitely want to show you that. Now there's a little bit of hesitation that you'll typically get with the XC90, just a slight hesitation from when you press the accelerator to when the vehicle actually moves. Just to give you something to look at, I'm actually going to put this in navigational mode. And we are about to take off. So we're going to pull out into traffic. And I'm going to go right, which is going to free us up just a bit to where I can not only accelerate once, but I can accelerate a couple of times before we actually make it back rather than going down the back road here. Now, while we're here, there again, go into my drive mode, press down, and go back up. Just to show you, I'm actually in hybrid mode. So we're going to do hybrid mode. We'll go down, and then I'll actually shift it into power just so you get a good feel. So we're going to go ahead and make this right. And here's the acceleration. And we're nearing 60. So we're going to make it through this light. We're going to go up and hit Independence Boulevard here in Charlotte. And I'm going to go ahead and switch into power to give you a sense of power on the XC90 as well. Absolutely love the feel. Uh, aside from the hesitation that you actually get between when you first press the pedal and the vehicle actually take it off, 
love the feel of it because you actually feel as if you're moving. Some cars you don't feel as if you're moving on the inside as quick as the, the vehicle may be. But uh, with this particular vehicle, it actually does. Now, this is a seven passenger, but it really can move and haul its weight, which is pretty typical for a European vehicle. But you don't expect that out of Volvo and you don't expect that out of a seven passenger. Now, we're still in hybrid mode. So there again, you can feel that. I mean, you, I'm moving. And you can tell by traffic in front of me, past this gentleman. Of course, 35 miles per hour, you just actually saw the speed limit. Now I'm gonna take you inside. You can also see that same speed limit, which is right up under your digital miles. Same thing there as well. So I know what the speed limit is. You can also see my speed after coming down off of a high there. Now once again, while I'm driving, anytime during your drive, you can do it in stop mode, you can do it while traveling. I'm just gonna take this, press down, that's my drive mode. Now I'm gonna go into power. I was in hybrid mode just then. Now in power, you're actually gonna get a little bit more of the feel of the exhaust. And if you're stopped, the vehicle's actually gonna launch forward very slightly. And that definitely lets you know you're in power because now I can hear a little bit more of that exhaust. I'm gonna take this. Now notice I have my cooled seat on. I'm gonna zoom in here. Cooled seat off. No phone connected. No phone connected. I can turn it down. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn that off manually rather than doing it by voice. As you heard, of course I used the wrong wording there so it did not turn it off but I happen to do so manually. So we're actually going to go forward now. Remember, I am in power mode, which is also a sportier drive. And now it's just more effortless, as you can feel. You can feel there, and you can hear a little bit more of the exhaust. So this is actually sport mode, as I like to call it. Or you can actually go back to your center dial at any time. You can switch your mode. Or you can actually call it power. I love sport. It makes it sound a little bit more athletic, agile. So back to the navigational screen. Once you actually select your drive, by default, it's automatically going to default back to where you had it once before. And at any time, if I hit that gas pedal outside of the hesitation there, I'm off. Love that about the hybrid. You get the same thing with the XC90. Uh, whether you're going with a Momentum or you're going with one that's not the hybrid, you get the same thing there, but this is just a little bit more effortless. And at the same time, it's, a, it's just more acceleration. I mean, it's a better feeling. As you can tell, I love to drive in sport mode. Now, if we actually get a stoplight, which I don't have to do so, now I'm going to go back. Let's see if everybody's staying in their lane. Switch my drive mode once again. Now I'm going to go into pure, so I'm actually pure hybrid, or pure eco mode, sorry, not pure hybrid, eco puts me in pure mode to where now I'm using more of the electric rather than a combination of the two. I'm actually stopped, so I'm going to give you another feel of how the pure mode feels. And of course, with the hybrid, you actually have the crystal gear shift. I don't know if you've actually seen one or heard much about that, but that is actually crystal, which is imported. And the park is actually just a press of a button to actually park the vehicle. To put it in reverse, I can actually come here, push up. Now I'm neutral, and it does show here. Now I'm pushing the gear shift forward and I actually going into the different gears. There's reverse, there's drive. And of course, everything behind that, you have your electronic parking brake, and this is your automatic brake. Automatic braking, what it actually does while I'm sitting here to stop light, I can press come to a complete stop, the vehicle will hold itself into position until I accelerate again. Now I'm in drive, and we're in pure mode. Let's check that. Yes, we are. So if I actually accelerate, as you can see, we're off. So whether you're in any of the modes, on the XC60 hybrid, as you can see there, you're going to have the necessary acceleration to actually move, which is what I absolutely love about the vehicle. 
So if you're looking at getting one of the hybrids, you're going to get increased horsepower. Something else, I don't know if you even noticed, you can actually go back and look at this once more. Something else that you're actually going to get as well is a quieter ride, a smoother ride, and more horsepower. So it's just not getting something that's going to conserve on gas because it actually reads the extra 58 miles per hour. I'm sorry, 58 miles per gallon. Got a little distracted by the officer of pulling someone over there. Uh, 58 miles per gallon on the highway, 56, 55 in the city. Uh, but you're not only buying it for that, you're also buying it for the smoother ride, the quieter ride, and also the heavy acceleration or the horsepower. As you can see here on Independence Boulevard in front of the local Volvo dealership, there's always a lot of activity going on. So you can definitely see here those items. But outside of that, if it's not a siren, you don't hear it. Enjoy your experience with your XC90 Hybrid and definitely check it out. I think it's definitely worthy of one of the top SUVs on the market.